Well, welcome to another Wednesday edition of virtual tasting of the featured Effen Beer of the Week. And we've got a treat for you this week. We've got two beers. We've got, this is fresh hop season for us, and we've got a two different fresh hop beers we're going to talk about, give you the recipes. We're going to do some tasting and um, exciting because it's available this weekend on Growler Fills. So we've got a, uh, this one right here is a English fresh hop, and this one here is an American fresh hop. And <clears throat> the differences between the two, you're going to find out, and then we'll taste them. I have not tasted these yet. This will be my uh, inaugural tasting on both, and so it'll be interesting to see how it uh, plays out. So let's give you the recipe of the English one, then I'll taste it, give you some notes, then we'll give you the recipe on the American one, and then we'll give you um, the, uh, the tasting notes, and then we'll open up for discussion. So first, let's do the English Fresh Hop, and this is a, uh, we did a half barrel batch, which is 15 and a half gallons. Um, the ABV, alcohol by volume, is 5.2, and it's 50 IBUs. SRM is 5, which is pretty low. If you look at it, it's a pretty light color. The original gravity was at 1051, and the terminal gravity is at 1012, 1.012. London water was our water profile, and we used the White Lab 002 or the Fuller's yeast. So that's those basics. Uh, the malts we used was Maris Otter and 100%, 30 pounds. And we mashed it in at 154 degrees for 60 minutes. And then we sparged it out using 170 degree water. Uh, collected all the sugar in our boil kettle, boiled it for 60 minutes. As soon as we had our boil going, we added three ounces of cluster hops, which gave us 33 IBUs. And then we added, uh, at 30 minutes, two ounces of challenger hops for 13 IBUs. And then five minutes left in the boil, we added another two ounces, but this time of north down hops for four IBUs. Gave us our 50 IBU total. And then at the end of the boil, we added six pounds of fresh hops at flame out, and we recirculated the wort over it to make sure we soaked all the essence of those fresh hops into the beer. And those were a combination of Fuggles, Centennial, Willamettes, and Mount Hoods, all grown within three miles of the brewery and harvested the same day. So let's see what we got for an aroma here. And I really like that, that uh, fresh hop. So the fresh hop smell is going to be much more floral, um, not um, hinting to the bitterness levels because you don't get any bitterness out of the fresh hops. I get a little malt balance on it. Got a wonderful aroma to it. Look at that color. Uh, that's beautiful at uh, SRM of 5, 5.0. smooth, really well balanced, hoppy in flavor, not hoppy and bitter. Um, boy, that's a beer I could drink all day long. Wonderful, delightful, um, much in the English realm of balance. I get a little more bitterness as, after, after I've swallowed because it's got 50 IBUs, uh, so there is a bitterness um, quality to it, but mmm, uh, that is delicious. And I love that Maris Otter uh, maltiness complemented with all those hops and um, it's just it's it's balance it's flavor it's delicious and it's uh, it's very satisfying I have to take another drink Wow that's a great beer pretty excited to be drinking that this weekend let's talk about the American fresh shop this one right here same batch size, 15 and a half gallons, a half barrel, 6.1% uh, alcohol. So it's almost a full percentage higher alcohol than the English um, counterpart. 74 IBUs. So we've got 24 more IBUs, more bitterness than the English. Color is four, and it is a little bit lighter, much clearer. Our uh, 
Original gravity was 1059, which is uh, about eight points higher than we did on the English. And our thermal gravity is the same at 1012. Used local water, bothel water. All we did was uh, um, filter out the um, chlorine and we used the ten, Y yeast uh, 1056 or the Sierra Nevada uh, yeast strain. We, for the malts, we have one malt. We have RARS uh, uh, Alex Two Row, which comes from Alberta, Canada, and we use 36 pounds or 100% of our malt bill. We also mashed it in at uh, 154 degrees, so the same temp. 60 minutes, sparged it with 170 degree water, collected all the sugar and boiled for 60 minutes. Once boils started, we added three ounces of Columbus hops. Um, and we got 57 IBUs out of that. At 30 minutes, we added three ounces of Cascade. We got 14 more IBUs. And at five minutes left, we added another two ounces of Cascade for three IBUs. At the end of the boil, we added eight pounds of fresh hop of all Mount Hood. This Mount Hood was harvested within three miles of the brewery, same day as the brewery, uh, as the brewing. So it's as fresh as possible. And we recirculated those for 30 minutes to get all the essence out of that hop and the character out of it. And the result is this beer. And let's take a little smell of this one. A little bit more pungent than we had on the English one, but still nothing overwhelmingly um, um, uh, gonna scare you away. Much lighter in body, uh, lighter in the, the malt feel. Um, almost feels like a Pilsner uh, mouth feel to me. Um, it's, I don't get that uh, rich malty tones to it. It's more about hop flavor and hop um, bitterness. At 74 IBUs, it's not overly uh, bitter. Um, it's got a nice firm bitterness finish, but it's um, another delightful beer. And I could, I could drink a lot of this one as well. I think it's it's balanced. It's uh, not nearly as much on the malt side, so it's much more on the, the hop character side with a little malt balance. Or this one's going to be on the malt balance with a little bit more of the hop um, complementing it. So two different ways of going at it, but they're both delicious. And this one I'm getting more bitterness af after my aftertaste and after I've swallowed for a while. So it's kind of a, a late growing bitterness level on it. Um, where this one is uh, pretty upfront, but not not um, overwhelming and just a nice gentleness. Um, yeah, this one's a little getting more pronounced as um, as I've, after I've swallowed. Very interesting takes on both of these. Let's try this one again. I mean, it's it's. There's nothing to, if you're not a, a um, IP, I would call this in the IPA category and I would call this more in the pale ale category as far as a beer style. Um, this is not going to scare people away who aren't real big hop bitter lovers because it's not that bitter. Um, but I think they're, these would appeal to a lot of people and I don't think that you should be afraid of if you're not a big hop person because this is a time to embrace the fresh harvest of the hops and enjoy the flavors and the aromas and um, you're not going to these a, a well balanced a well designed uh, fresh hop beer should not be overly bitter in my opinion so a little bit lighter on the American just we're using instead of a uh, Maris Otter English grown we're using um, Alberta Canada two row very close though we've got uh, four for the uh, color level and five. So there's not a big difference on a, on a one scale difference. Let's see if there's any questions in the, the chat that uh, wanna talk a little bit about some of these beers. difficulty sometimes well we've got uh, Kim and Tony and Kindle and Lee and John and 
Neil and Joan watching. And if you've got any questions, let me know. I don't see any coming through, and sometimes I have technical difficulties, even, even though you guys are wanting to um, have some. But um, let's see. I don't see you there. Let me look over here. And if I'm avoiding your comments, I'm apologizing because that's not what I'm trying to do. Or maybe nobody's got any comments tonight. So these are available this weekend for uh, curbside pickup in growlers. They're $16 for a growler of either one, a half gallon, 64 ounce growler. Um, it's the, we call this the 2020 FN English Fresh Hop, and we call this one the 2020 FN American Fresh Hop. And so you can get it Friday or Saturday, 4 to 5 p.m. for curbside pickup. You just uh, go to the FoggyNogginBrewing.com website, hit the beer tab. All the details are there on the beers available. You send us an email and we send you an invoice paid for, and depending on your um, desire, we'll either put it in your trunk or in your back seat or hand it to you, whatever makes you most comfortable, and we'll do all that for you. And so you can either have, I suggest you get them both because it's delightful and it's very limited and you want to drink it when it's really fresh. That's the best time a fresh hop beer is when, first of all, it's taking those hops and harvesting them and putting them into the beer as close to harvest time as possible so you get all the essence out of it. And they're not dried, so they're still green and they're fresh and um, they haven't de developed all those, um, um, uh, the bitter qualities that are going to have as they dry out. And so you want, this is a, a cool time to be um, experiencing that level of the, of the hop and that, and that um, life cycle of a hop. And so we do this, you can only do it at uh, one time a year really for, um, on harvest time. So it's a fun thing. Drink them while they're fresh because they're not going to be around very long and um, enjoy them. Let me try this English one again. It's just so delightfully uh, balanced and just is uh, so enjoyable to me. Yeah, let's try this American one again. So I know people are thinking, which one does he like better? Um, but you know what, be, me being a uh, an English beer lover, and that's why we brew English beers, you're going to say he's probably going to like the English one better. Me being not really a um, overly <clears throat> bitter hop head, I like balanced bitter beers, um, and you're going to say he's going to take the English one. And I'm going to surprise you because I'm going to say I like the English one better. <laughs> surprise right but I would I'd be thrilled to have this one in a glass and able to be drinking this one too this American one is fantastic and you know I that's why I encourage you guys to to uh, maybe get a growler of both um, if, if you get them before they're gone and uh, you can try them yourself and see which one you like better and it's really kind of fun to taste the two together because even though they're so similar they are still so different so, um, that's interesting. And I don't think we have any questions. Um, I'll go through the recipe again real quick, but, um, cause I'm looking and I don't see any questions coming through. And it could, be, well, I do see one. Kim says, I like the English one better, but they are both really good. So at least I do know the questions are coming through. So if you got any, let me know. But uh, I agree. I think they're both really good. Um, I tend to like the English one a little bit better, but I, I like them both. They're really, really good. So let's go over the English one again. So if you're going to do some home brewing or just kind of curious what's in there, you're kind of a, a detailed person. English Fresh Hop, 5.2 alcohol by volume, 50 IBUs. 
Color level is 5.0. That's the SRM color scale. Original gravity, 1051. Terminal gravity, 1012. And as a half barrel batch, 15 and a half gallons, London water and WLP002, the Fuller's yeast. One malt. It's all Maris Otter from Crisp is what we use. 30 pounds, which is 100% of the malt bill. At 60 minutes, we add three ounces of cluster hops for 33 IBUs. At two, three, 30 minutes, we add two ounces of Challenger, 13 more IBUs. And then at five minutes, we have two ounces of North Down, which is four IBUs. Gives us a total of 50. Uh, so that's a 60 minute boil. Flame out, we add our six pounds of fresh hops and these are all grown within three miles of the brewery. Some grown right here at the brewery. And we have um, Fuggles, Centennial, Willamette, and Mount Hoods. We recirculate the wort on top of those hops to pull out all the essence and uh, for 30 minutes. And then we move it to the fermenter, ferment it uh, uh, for a week and we let it get up to 68 degrees. Then we cold crash it for a week at 32 degrees and gives us our clarity on the beer, and then we force carbonate to one and a half volumes on both beers. The American Fresh Hop, 6.1% alcohol by volume, 74 IBUs, color level 4.0, original gravity 1059, terminal gravity 1012, half barrel batch, 15 and a half gallons, bothel water, just our water here. We charcoal filtered out the uh, chlorine, and then our 1056 Y yeast, um, Sierra Nevada yeast is what we used. One malt, 36 pounds of RARS Alex Alberta two row, 36 pounds. At 60 minutes, we added uh, three ounces of Columbus hops, give us 57 IBUs. Cascade, we added three ounces at 30 minutes for 14 more, and then more Cascade at five minutes, two ounces for three IBUs. We added eight pounds of fresh hops of Mount Hoods. And we recirculated the word on top of it for 30 minutes. And then we moved the fermenter, let it go up to 68 degrees for one week, moved it to the secondary at 32 degrees, and clarified the beer for excellent clarity on it. If you can see that, that's really clear. And then we forced carbonate to one and a half volumes. And that's how we got what we've got. And they're both delicious. You can get them curbside pickup. Friday and Saturday, 4 to 5 p.m., $16 for each growler fill. Go to the FoggyNogginBrewing.com website and hit the beer tab. All the details are there. Now, tomorrow we're doing our happiest half hour of the week. It's happy half hour time. 5.30 on Facebook Live, and you can join and hear some music, piano, singing. Just a good time. 30 minutes since the official start of the weekend. Next Wednesday on our virtual tasting, we will be tasting... Um, we will be tasting the uh, Blackberry Bitter. Well, that's going to be fun. Uh, Blackberry, we've never done it before. Brand new beer, and it's going to be fun because we harvested some blackberries right here off of the Foggy Noggin Effin Blackberry Farm. So that's going to be really, really cool. And I know we have uh, Doran just uh, joined us. And if you missed all the details on these beers, we're going to have this um, archived on the Foggy Noggin Brewing Facebook page page and we have a youtube channel you can watch these over again and you can get some good tasting notes and you can um, follow along so this is the english one let me taste it one more time english fresh up extremely balanced it's fantastic i drink it all day long the american one Delicious, uh, very smooth, more hop concentrated than malt concentrated, but very gentle, very balanced. But it kicks in the, the bitterness level um, after you've swallowed it in the back of your throat. Um, delicious beer. They're both satisfying. You know, just make sure I'm not missing any other comments from anyone. I appreciate you guys joining. Um, hope you had fun. Hope you learned something and look forward to seeing you guys at curbside pickup this weekend. And we will, um, have this on our Facebook page as an archive. So cheers everyone and stay safe and we'll see you soon.